What's going on guys, Josh here, and today we're having a look at the brand new Saramonic Blink 500 Pro X. So Saramonic is an audio company, they make a ton of different microphones, but this one in particular I really wanted to get my hands on because I was a huge fan of the original Blink 500, and I didn't really think they could make that microphone system better, but guess what they did with the new Blink 500 Pro X. So this is a dual lavalier system. So you can actually use this microphone with two people. So you can shoot interviews and, you know, instead of having to use an external recorder to record all the audio, this can actually get baked right into your camera's footage. So in the kit, you get two lavalier microphones and a single receiver. So that's really cool. And I'm holding the uh, transmitter right now. You're gonna hear an audio test. I'm gonna be going back and forth between my Rode NTG2 and my Zoom recorder. And I'm gonna be switching back and forth between the two mics. And let me know what you think in the comments section down below when we compare the audio quality. Now I'm going to be actually hooking up a corded lavalier mic feeding directly into this transmitter. So we'll see if there's any audio differences there. And I'm gonna actually show you some demo footage of what I shot with Michael Hearn, who is a pretty big bodybuilder and fitness guy here in Los Angeles, California, known throughout the whole entire world. I used the Blink 500 Pro X on a few of our shoots together, and it performed flawlessly. Now, with this system, we have really cool features in it especially when it comes down to using the mono and stereo mode. So if you're new to this type of technology or just audio in general, mono is basically recording to one channel and stereo is recording to two channels. Now, why would you want to have this option? Well, if you're shooting with two people and you have two different people microphoned up, you want to be able to adjust or mute their audio separately. You don't want to have two channels baked into the footage because then you lose control over one person's audio. So whenever you're shooting with dual labs, you want to have full control over each person's audio. Really, really important, so keep that in mind. Now in Final Cut Pro, it's really easy to control this. All you have to do is go into the audio track, go into the audio settings, and then you'll be able to see how you can have control over both tracks. Now one of the things I had a huge issue with with previous lavalier microphones, especially the wireless ones, was distortion. And distortion is just an absolute killer for your audio. So with these mics, what I like is that when it distorts, it just clips the audio. For example, I had another set of wireless microphones that whenever it distorted, it distorted to the point where it just made my ears feel like they were gonna explode. Whereas clipping is normal for distortion, on other lavalier microphones, it would just literally be so painful to listen to. I, 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 I want to save your ears from showing you or letting you hear what that sounds like. So I'm glad that the 500X Pros don't have that problem. And uh, yeah, I just like the way this mic handles distortion and very loud volumes. Now, when we have a look at the overall package, we have a charging box, which is fully upgraded compared to the previous Blink 500 Pros. We have a lesser charge time, it's actually less than three hours, and each individual pack, such as the both the transmitters and the receiver, have a larger battery runtime. It's longer than the previous 500 Pros that Saramonic made, and it provides lower latency and auto switch on technology. So as soon as you open up the charging case, everything turns on immediately. You don't need to sync anything up and it works flawlessly. Now here's a short little clip of me filming Michael Hearn during one of his training sessions and you can hear the audio quality. This is actually a really good sample because you can hear the difference between actually using the standalone pack and a wired lavalier. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Here we go, roll the footage. Stay there, stay there. Don't move your position. I just wanna show something that they didn't see watching this whole video. Show them. And I'm gonna assume this is after one week of dancing. Planted, solid position, all the way through doing a shoulder press. I've never seen you look solid from the ground 
to the head ever than this moment right now. Never seen it. Really? You, I well, we're see, improving. Hey. I could see you were connected. I thought that was the coolest thing in the world because I don't think you guys realize when I talk about the feet, that's where the energy is. You got to grab at the ground and bring it up. The dancing has helped you connect to the ground. One solid piece. Did, did they teach you that it has to be set? There has to be a, a solid platform? No, I, it was the, it was, it's been the opposite actually, that I had to stay on the toes, on the balls of my feet okay. and be very, very light. Be very light, but where's the center? Is it still not coming from the ground so you can make sure that you can pin and move in the right, right positions? Right. Having a closer look at each individual pack, such as the receiver, we have both line out and a headphone monitor jack. So that's a great option. We also have each individual pack being able to charge using USB-C. Other microphone systems force you to use the actual charging case and plugging that into a charging bank or AC power outlet. Each pack here doesn't have to be reliant on that charging case. You can plug them in uh, individually one at a time. On the receiver unit, you can also see that it has all of the battery life displayed from both transmitters and the receiver itself. You can also see all of the levels. It's also a good idea to monitor the levels using your headphones. Whenever I shoot, I always bring headphones with me when audio is being recorded because you never know, you might have to redo a take due to bad audio. Also, setting up is extremely easy. You'll notice that there's a little clip on the bottom or on the back of the mic here. All you have to do is just attach that to the cold shoe or hot shoe adapter on your camera or on your camera cage, doesn't matter. Within the transmitters and receiver itself, you can access the menu, control the microphone gain settings. You can also control the stereo and mono settings, as I mentioned earlier. Just hold down the menu button, you can cycle through all the options, make a change using the plus and minus buttons, and hold down the set button to save that change. Now on the back of these mics and receiver, you'll notice that there are four golden pins on the back, that's what's used to charge these things up. So whenever you put it back into the charging case, make sure that that part of the mic and receiver is clean, make sure there's no dirt there, otherwise it won't charge. Uh, just remember that you'll be good and it's awesome that these are magnetically attached to the charging case so they just snap right in. Overall, I really do love these systems. It gives you over 100 meters of range and I just overall really, really like the quality, especially when I'm out and about shooting around LA, shooting with my clients and I can't really focus on setting up a, a boom arm and a boom mic and all of that nonsense. So <laughs> it's great to have the option to use these little microphones and I love the battery life. Uh, I really don't have anything negative to say about these things. Uh, I just wanna see where Ceremonic will go from here uh, they've been really impressing me lately. So if you're interested in the new Ceremonic Blink 500 Pro X, check out the link down below. And again, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. I'll see you in another video. Peace.